Hey friends, it's Nina. I am back with a quick unboxing video. I have been super duper busy <laughs> with uh, work. It's end of quarter for us, so it's quite crazy. And uh, I think I might have mentioned on my last video that I lost a couple resources on my team, so uh, which basically leaves all of that workload to me. So <laughs> it's an unfortunate situation, but in any case, I just wanted to do a quick unboxing while I have a few minutes break here. Um, so I thought I would share with you guys my latest package from Lug. So here we go. I've already cut the box open. So, little thank you package. I think that's the thing that has the, um, you know, what do you call it? The, the registration info. A little summer catalog, which I saw a few of my lug nuts, my peer lug nuts here on YouTube, um, you know, had all bought their chuggies. I think that's what these are called. Yeah, they're chuggies. I still haven't bitten the bullet on it yet, just because I don't know. Um, the chuggy, I probably will at some point break down and get the, you know, the entire bag. I'm not so sure about, although it is super cute. So I don't know. I'll probably ultimately end up getting it, but haven't bit the bullet yet. I don't know. What are you guys doing? Are you guys getting the chuggies with the little carry bag or are you skipping out on that? So what I bought was the mini puddle jumper. Um, I noticed on, on luglife.com that the mini puddle jumper was back in a couple of different uh, color ways. This one being, I believe it's called watercolor black. And um, let's see how easily I can get this out of the plastic package here. But this is actually a bag that I had before. Um, well, you guys saw my other video where I had the three but I actually did have this specific color uh, in the past and I ended up giving it away. So now I wanted to have it back just because the other ones I have are all kind of light colors. I've got the watercolor pearl. The navy is still kind of dark and then I have um, the flamingo black, but I don't know, I just saw this online and I think Lug was having a sale, so I decided to go ahead, or they had marked it down or something. It was like $44, I believe. So I went ahead and got it just because I think it's cute, and I really hope Lug comes out with more of these um, puddle jumpers in some of the newer, you know, colors that they have. I feel like, you know, a lot of us would like to have these in... Like, for instance, the Stars and Shell, Shells Navy. I think that would be a great option for this. Um, if we, if some folks wanted it in the lighter color, I think, um, what is it called? Um, the Dragonfly Multi, which has that kind of cream background. I think that would be really pretty in this. Um, the Peacock one, I think that would be really pretty. In any case, uh, if Lug hopefully if enough of us gives lug feedback they usually listen to the lug nuts <laughs> so um hopefully they'll come out with you know new ones for the summer but i just wanted to pick this one up while it was on sale again probably can't justify it but just for the sake of my collection <laughs> i decided to uh, buy this one. So for those of you that are not that familiar with the mini puddle jumper, if you haven't seen the videos, um, basically it is the miniature version of the lug puddle jumper travel slash gym bag tote bag. Um, that one is, is quite a bit larger than this. This is what I would consider kind of a 
more more of an everyday tote size versus like a travel tote or a gym bag style. I think some folks actually, you know, they do use this one as a gym bag. To me, <clears throat> I would carry it like I've the way that I've carried it mostly is just either as a day out bag. So if I'm out for the day, uh, it fits my 13 inch MacBook perfectly fine in here. So just in case anybody's interested, a 13 inch MacBook will fit. I venture to say you might even get a 15 inch MacBook in here if you have the, um, you know, the, the newer MacBooks that aren't as bulky as the older ones. I think that might even fit in here. But it's got two front pockets, great for, you know, putting in your chargers and small things like hand sanitizer and quick reach, quick grab type items. These are little magnetic front pockets there, you know, that you can slip in, you know, business cards. I think I usually carry business cards in one, um, extra cash. If I'm traveling, then, you know, I'll put like tip money and stuff like that in there. And then this front pocket, which has some organization on the interior. You'll see there is a soft line pocket right there. And I can never get this zipper open all the way on the other side. I don't know why it's stuck on something, but there's some pockets on the interior there, little slip pockets for pens or pencils or makeup, or I think they, they the way they, um, presented this you know this is like sort of like your makeup pouch right and then you can put your um, brushes or whatever down those little slits and then there is also a privacy pocket right there which I apologize I have trouble getting into it but anyways there we go and then you have a privacy pocket right there. So a lot of good organization with a double zipper in that front pocket. All right. And then it's got the two side quilted uh, water bottle pockets right there on both sides. It has a shoulder strap so you can carry it by, you know, if you wanna just carry it by the two top handles right there, you can do that. If not, you can Let's see if I can open this one handed. There is a crossbody strap. So inside you'll find your crossbody strap. Just hook it to the other D ring right there, and you've got your nice either longer shoulder strap or crossbody, whichever one you prefer. Inside, you've got the soft lined cargo pocket as well as a privacy pocket and two pen slots right there. Now, the difference between this bag and the newer mini puddle jumper twos is that it doesn't have this pocket right here in the new, um, the newer version of this, which is in the video that I showed previously a couple videos ago. Um, this is a clear view pocket. So instead of having your privacy pocket, you've got that plastic clear view so you can kind of see everything you have in the pocket. So I think that's really the only difference um, in my mind. Everything else, if I recall, is exactly the same. The quilting is the same. Um, the three pocket configuration in the front is the same. Your cell phone pocket is the same. Uh, you've got the two side um, water bottle or umbrella or sippy cup pockets. You've got the travel trolley in the back. You also have a uh, magnetic compartment right there. All Everything on these are exactly the same, I believe. The only difference is the clear view pocket in the interior. But again, this one is called, uh, the, the pattern or print is called watercolor black. If anybody's interested, I believe they still have this on luglife.com along with watercolor pearl. And I feel like there was one other one out there that they still had available. Maybe the, just those two, I'm not sure. Um, but anyways, Lug, hopefully if enough of us tell tell Amy Richter or give feedback to Love Life, luglife.com, um, they will bring these out hopefully in other patterns, which is what I would like. 
Anyways, hope that was uh, fun for you guys to see. If you have any questions about the bag or if you want any details about the bag, please ask them down in the comment section below. Hope everyone is doing well. Things are crazy in this world these days. And um, again, I can't say enough how much I enjoy being able to come and um, share, you know, my, my love of handbags. Uh, in particular, Vera and lug bags and Dooney bags with you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.